Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-8 from R.C. Higaler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, the strut is supported by a pin at C and an A36 steel die wire AB. If the wire has a diameter of 0.2 inch, we have to determine how much it stretches when the distributed load acts on the strut. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw a free body diagram. So at point C we have a pin support, so we have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. At point B we have a tensile force due to this wire AB. Let's label them. So this right here is CX, this is CY and let's call this FAB. Also, we have to find the resultant of this triangular distributed loading and it would look something like this. It has a base of 9 feet and the height of 200 will be perfect. So to find the resultant, let's say the resultant is Fr is equals to the area of this triangle. So 1 upon 2, the base which is 9 into the height which is 200. So the resultant force of this triangular distributed loading is 900 albies. And now we have to find the location of resultant force. So for location, we know that, that the location would be one third of base from thicker end. This is called the thicker end. So we have one third of base, base is 9. So it means 3 fit from thicker end. So if I draw the resultant force, then it would look something like this. Fr is 900 Lb and it is at a distance of 3 feet from the thicker end. Now we have to resolve this Fab force into its components along the x and the y axis. So this is the vertical component and this is the horizontal component. If this angle is 60 degrees, it means that angle is also 60 degrees because they are alternate angles so they are same. The vertical component is FAB or 60 and the horizontal component is FAB sin 60. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can use our equations of equilibrium to find the magnitude of FAB force. My first equation would be summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. The line of action of Cx and Cy are passing through the point C. It means they don't have any momentum with respect to the point C. So Cx and Cy will not produce any moment about point C. The resultant force of the triangular distributed loading is trying to rotate the strut in clockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by this FR force will be taken as negative. So negative 900 and the moment arm is this distance which is 3 feet. Also the horizontal component of the FAB force is passing through the point C. So it does not have any momentum with respect to the point C. So the horizontal component of FAB force will not produce any moment about point C. The vertical component of the FAB force is trying to rotate the strut in counterclockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by the vertical component of the FAB force is positive. The so positive FAB or 60. And the moment arm is the length of this strut, which is 9 feet. 
equals to zero. So FAB comes out to be 600 albies. Now we have to find the average normal stress in the A36 steel wire. So average normal stress sigma AB is equals to the force FAB divided by the cross sectional area of the steel wire AB. So sigma AB is equals to FAB which is 600 divided by the cross sectional area of the wire AB which can be written as pi by 4 d square and the diameter is 0 0.2 inch. Average normal stress in the wire AB comes out to be 19,098.6 pounds per square inch. This value of sigma AB is less than the yield stress of A36 steel, which is 36,000 PSI. It means we are still in an elastic region. The Hooke's law is applicable. So using the Hooke's law, we have average normal stress is equal to the Young modulus of A36 steel into the average normal strain in the wire AB. The average normal strain AB is equals to sigma AB over the Young's modulus. So sigma AB is 19098.6 PSI divided by, now the Young's modulus of A36 steel wire is 29000 KSI. So if I convert it into the PSI, so I would have 29,000 exponent 3. The average normal strain in the wire AB comes out to be 6.6 .6 exponent negative 4 inch per inch. Our main target is to find the deflection, how much the wire AB stretches. So for deflection, we can relate the strain with the deflection. So we have average normal strain AB is equals to the change in length delta AB divided by the original length like the unstretched length of the wire AB. Let's call this equation 1. Now for unstretched length LAB for LAB we can consider this triangle A, B and C and it looks something like this. This is a right angle triangle. This is L, A, B. This is 60 degrees and this length is 9 feet. We can use the ratio of sine. So sine 60 is equals to opposite, which is 9 fit, divided by the hypotenuse, which is LAB. And since we are dealing in PSI, so we have to convert this 9 fit into inches. So we have to multiply it by 12, because in 1 fit we have 12 inches. So LAB is equals to 108 divided by sine 60. The LAB comes out to be 124.71 inch. Now we can substitute it into the equation 1. From equation 1, from this equation, the stretch delta AB is equals to Average normal strain AB 
into unstretched length LAB. So delta AB is equals to 6.6 exponent negative 4 into 124.71. So delta AB comes out to be 0 0.0823 inch. This is our answer. And this is the stretch in the 836 steel guide wire. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.